Hi, my name is James with EnergyCafe.com. Welcome to the Learning Center. And right now we're talking about battery power. And although it isn't renewable energy by itself, we can charge these batteries from renewable energy. So I want to cover a little bit of that and its application. So what we have here is a wind turbine, which is obviously renewable energy, and so are solar cells. So we have both of those set up. And we have a car right here that's got a bunch of battery packs in it. And this is actually very similar to uh, the setup with uh, the EV1s from General Motors in the late 1990s. And those cars were actually able to go as far as 120 miles on a charge. What you would do, though you could use grid power, and a lot of people did, and they said that they're, they were probably only spending about uh, $30 a month is what they averaged to power your car to work and back. So, if you were not using that and you were using your wind power, using your solar energy, you would plug it in and uh, you would have a battery pack and a converter that would then hold that battery, hold that charge, until you got home and you plugged your car in. Once you plugged your car in, you would then be charging up your batteries for your next use. Now, the application for that, even if you did use grid power, is that it's going to be far cheaper to operate and far less of an impact on the environment. And if you are able to get the setup to use solar cells or wind power, then your impact on the environment is pretty much nothing. So this is the potential that we have, is to have a battery-powered vehicle back on the road again. In fact, Chevy Volt is supposed to be the next one that they're coming out with. It is 40 miles uh, on a single charge. So it's not quite where we were at, but uh, at least we're making steps in the right direction again.